Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel FedEx. In this video, we will talk about time equations and trajectories. Time equations or parametric equations are equations giving the coordinates of a particle as a function of time. For example, x equals 2t plus 1 and y equals 4t squared minus 3. Now for the trajectory of a moving point, it is the set of positions occupied by this point during its motion, like the rocket which is considered as a moving point with respect to the chosen scale in the adjacent figure. Some trajectories can be characterized by a mathematical equation called trajectory equation. It is a relation independent of time between the coordinates of the moving point. For example, y equals 5x plus 2, where we don't see time, just coordinates. Now let's give some examples of trajectory equations and nature. The first one is about the rectilinear trajectory with its corresponding equation y equals ax plus b. For example, if we have a moving point with the following coordinates, x equals 2t and y equals 3t, and we are asked to determine its trajectory equation and nature, what we can do is to find t as a function of x, then replace t by its expression in the parametric equation of y. In our case, we got y equals 1.5x, which satisfies the relation y equals ax plus b, thus the trajectory is rectilinear. The second example is about the parabolic trajectory with its corresponding equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c with a different than zero because if a was equal to zero, then the equation would become y equals bx plus c which corresponds to the equation of a rectilinear trajectory. And this is not our case. For example, if we have a moving point with the following coordinates, x equals 2t and y equals 8t squared plus 7t, and we are asked to determine its trajectory equation and nature, what we can do is what we did in the previous example. So, we will find t as a function of x. Then, replace t by its expression in the parametric equation of y. In our case, we got y equals 2x squared plus 3.5x, which satisfies the relation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c with a different than 0. Thus, the trajectory is parabolic. The third and last example is about a circular trajectory with its corresponding equation x minus xc all squared plus y minus yc all squared equals r squared, where xc and yc are the coordinates of the center c of the circle and r is its radius. For example, if we have a moving point with the following coordinates, x equals 2 cosine t plus 1 and y equals 2 sine t minus 3, and we are asked to determine its trajectory equation and nature, what we can do is to isolate cosine and sine in the given equations, then square each equation and add them up. Note that this method of isolate, isolate, square, square, add up, will let us factorize and get cosine squared plus sine squared, which is equal to 1. In our case, we get an equation that satisfies the one of a circle of radius r equals 2, having a center c, of coordinates xc equals 1 and yc equals minus 3. Note that if we were working in the international system of units SI, all these values would be in meters. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content.